welcome to my dreams academy i'm engineer ozaiwe ao i would like to take you physics 1 which is simple harmonic motion but we have already projected questions coming to us so as you have the questions now i want to go straight into the question and this question reads the length of the displaced pendulum bulb which passes its lowest point twice every second is that's the damn question and the value of g is given as 10 meter per second squared now from the question this is a simple pendulum and when you displace this pendulum it is displaced through the center this is a simple pendulum when i displace pendulum here this is point a b and c point b is the position of the lowest point and that is the point that has v as maximum so for me to answer the question i'll first look at the information here he said it passes twice that means number of oscillation is one because from a to c and c to a is one one oscillation you there's no way you count an oscillation when it moves from a to c no it has not passed twice this position where v is maximum so n now in this question is one then he said one second that means time taken is one second for me to obtain for me to obtain the length i'll go back to the period which is equivalent to small t over number of oscillation and t is already one this is one which is one second so if the period is one second then period is equivalent to two pi root l over g for me to determine the value of l g has been given this one is one this is um for me to make this l free i will square all or i can simply first take back the question this is two pi root l over 10 so i can now square if i square this it is one if i square two is four pi squared is also pi squared multiply by length will now be free all over 10 i'll make this over and across multiply one times 10 will give me 10 so i have four pi squared l um, 4 pi squared L is the same as 10. Now, I am looking for the value of pi. This pi squared has a value in physics. Anywhere you see pi squared, it is approximately 10. Approximately 10. So I can replace this by 10. So this is 4 times 10 times L is equivalent to this the two sides now this is one this time this will give me 4l equals one l now will be one over four which is 0 0.25 meters that's the length that's the length of this particular pendulum from the point of displacement to the center of this oh, so this is uh, l and that's the quest the solution to the question Okay, question number two is jam 1984, number 23. Jam 1984, number 23. And it reads, a simple pendulum, comma, 0 0.6 meters long, meter long, has a period of 1.5. First, Okay, it has a period of 1.5 seconds. What is the period of a similar pendulum? 
0.4 meter long in the same location? That's the question. From this question, let's identify the parameters. First, we have the, the we have um, the simple pendulum of length L. So we have uh, two lengths and uh, one period. So we have here period one is 1.5 second L length length L1 is 0 0.6 meter then we are asked to obtain period 2 when its length L length L2 is now 0 0.4 meter then for us to obtain this period 2, we now relate the T1 and L1. And T and L, period and the length, is related by, that the period is directly proportional to the root of L. So I can now obtain equivalent to be K root L. Then, we meaning that T1 is equivalent to this of L1. I can substitute to determine K. So this one now, the T1 is 1.5, K is unknown, root L1 is um, 0 0.6 meter. Then the value of K will now be 1.5 root 0 0.6, root 0 0.6, no, 1.5 over, I am looking for K, over root of 0 0.6 this is the constant with this constant now t2 is now k root l2 so i have the value of k now so so that t2 will now be k is 1.5 over root 0 0.6 multiplied by l2 the root of l2 L2 is 0 0.4. Then, if I work on this now, this is root, this is root, and this is going to mark with 1.5. So I have that period 2 is 1.5 root 0. root 0 0.4, 0 0.4 all over root 0 0.6. So I can now work on this by saying 1.5 all root. This is root. This is also root. 0 0.4 over 0 0.6. So 1.5. I can cancel this and reduce this to 2. This one to 3. So what I have under here is 2 is 2. Yeah, 2 over 3. So 1.5 root 2 over 3 is now the, the answer to T2. That's the period two. So that's the answer to that question. And this is um, B. This is B. So, sorry, this is A from the question. The jam solution A.